Hi guys, Matt Reeves Movies back for another video and today we've got some packages to open. Yeah, you've seen from the thumbnail that this is James Bond related, um, obviously with the 007 at the top there. So yeah, we're going to get into these packages today on the channel. So these um, bomb pickups were inspired by um, a documentary that I recently watched on Amazon Prime called Becoming Bond. And it's all about the story or the life story of George Lazenby, um, the actor who played Bond only one time in Her Majesty's Secret Service. And uh, yeah, I really enjoyed the documentary, learned a lot about the, the actor. Um, you know, it went through his life story. They did it in a bit of a comical way, which yeah, had a nice sort of touch to it. And um, yeah, thoroughly enjoyed it. So if you, you're a Bond fan and you've not seen it and you do have access to Amazon Prime, I highly recommend Becoming Bond. I do believe it's available on DVD. Um, I was looking at some of the prices and it sort of holds its value quite well. That's not part of this pickup here. I may pick it, pick it up further down the line, um, but um, but yeah, so um, let's get into what I picked up um, today on this um, pickups video. So the first one um, is a documentary, and it was produced by Top Gear, and it's called 007 The Car Chases. Now, <clears throat> this particular one, I think, was part of a promotional... Um, Thing on a magazine that Top Gear used to produce. Now, I do believe you can buy it sort of in an Amore case as well. Um, the seller was selling this for, I think it was about £1.50 including postage. Now it's only 35 minutes long, or oh, 37 actually. Um, there's your back, pause if you wish to read. Um, yeah, and it's just about <coughs> sort of different car chases from various films which if you pause the um, the back of this, you'll see what films it's going to feature. So um, it does say the James Bond Ultimate Edition DVD collection is released on the 17th of July 2006 with the highest picture and sound quality. So I'm guessing this was produced around the same time as when those um, DVDs are going to be released. So yeah, that's the first um, pickup. I'd already sort of unboxed it, you know, <clears throat> uh, so yeah just quickly show you the disc it's nothing really it's just a plain disc like that PG um, doesn't take up much shelf space so I can pop that in my um, Bond collection okay so the second pickup was from World of Books and this is a Blu-ray And it is, I can get the case to shut properly, on Her Majesty's Secret Service. So, yeah, I didn't have this film on DVD or Blu-ray. Back in the day, I think I did have a VHS of it, a collector's edition. But for some reason, I got rid of that at the time. I don't quite know why, but there we go. <clears throat> yeah, this is, um, I think, over time is sort of, with Bond fans, it's become more of a, you know, a sort of really good Bond film. I mean, the franchise, I mean, it deals with James Bond falling in love, um, getting married, 
at the you know sort of <coughs> within the film and obviously spoilers he's a you know he's been out for many years obviously you know his wife does die at the end of this um but um this very much links in with the no time to die uh film the final film from daniel craig a lot of themes in this sort of you know a, a sort of brought over to that film including the um theme tune which is you have all the time in the world a great <coughs> bomb track so yeah i uh, i managed to get this on world of books second hand for about three pound fifty so i thought why not include it i don't have all the james bond films um i'm quite selective about what bomb films i like um i have all the roger moore films one timothy dalton film all the daniel craig films and um Goldfinger, which is obviously Sean Connery's um, most famous, I suppose, <coughs> um, Bond film. So I thought, yeah, <coughs> after watching that Bond documentary about this guy, I thought, yeah, I feel like I want to revisit this film. So, yeah, here it is. Got all the special features on the back there. Got a stack of special spe features. Um... Yeah, I look forward to sort of digging into this. Uh, it's ABC region, uh, free, uh, 5.1 DTS master audio mix. There's the disc, which is pretty much the same affair as all the other Bond films. You know, the disc art with the 007 logo. For some reason this case doesn't want to click. But, but yeah, no, I'm really happy with that pickup. Um, you know, and yeah, look forward to revisiting this. Okay, so the final um, package is from Music Magpie. Again, another Bond documentary. And this time, it is, again, Top Gear. But this is 50 Years of Bond Cars. Uh, Richard Hammond, um, from the original three guys um, that used to do Top Gear back in the day when it was... Really, you know, it was fantastic back then. Really used to enjoy the, the Top Gear back in the day. Um, obviously, then followed the Grand Tour on Amazon. Sadly, that's come to an end now. But, um, but yeah, I didn't realise this documentary had been produced to celebrate the 50 years of James Bond at the time. I think we're coming up to 60 years now, or was that last year? Um, yeah. But um, it might be this year, actually. Um, but anyway, <clears throat> here's the back. Now, I I love sort of uh, the James Bond cars. Obviously, you've got the the classic there from The Spy Who Loved Me, the, you know, the underwater car. I can remember as a child having that as the um, Corgi toy, which used to transform uh, into the uh, sort of underwater um, car. Yeah, it was absolutely brilliant. Um, you've also got the... Aston Martin DBS that was featured in um, Casino Royale and I had the opportunity um, last year to actually drive three Aston Martin vehicles uh, which I do have videos on the channel um, absolutely fantastic experience being able to drive um, all three cars including the DB5 from Goldfinger that was just an amazing experience so yeah, if you're interested in um, the Bond cars, yeah, please check out those um, videos. I'll leave links at the end of the video um, so you can go and check those out. So yeah, this just says Top Gear marks 50 years of James Bond film with a rip-snorting celebration of 007's most iconic cars. Looks like this is a BBC um, release. Uh, it's 62 minutes long, uh, region power locked, so yeah, uh, I guess they probably produce this in other territories as well. Um, oh, I've just noticed there's a bit of damage to the case there, that's a shame. Um, yeah, the case is cracked. Hmm. I'll have to repair that, that's, that's a bit of a shame, but there we go. Uh, again, this was very um, very reasonable on on eBay. Um, I think it was 
two or three pounds, something like that. Um, but yeah, I think this was originally aired on BBC Two back in the day. Uh, I can't really remember much about it, but yeah, I really look forward to sort of revisiting this documentary. So, three um, pickups uh, for Bond. Say, so, um, yeah, I'd be interested to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. Um, do you like George Lazenby in the role of 007? He only played it once. Have you seen Becoming Bond? And have you seen any of the documentaries from Top Gear uh, back in the day? Or are they part of your Bond collection? Yeah, I'd be interested to hear your thoughts down in the comments. Please give the video a thumbs up. That really does help me out. It tells YouTube you like these sorts of videos. And like I say, I'll leave some links to some other James Bond um, videos. I do have a James Bond playlist. I say I do have a collection of Bond stuff. So, um, yeah, if you're interested in Bond and you're new here, yeah, please go and check out that um, those videos. All right, that's the end of the video, guys. Take care and see you next time. Bye now.